Welcome back from the break. If you are joining us, we're in the second segment of The Entrepreneur. We're here to meet our second guest who is ready for us. So please join me as we talk to him and get to know what kind of business he's doing. Introduce yourself to us. Let us know who you are and what you do. I'm Fred Gitari, a fashion designer, but I specialize in designing shoes with African prints. Well, I'm a CEO and founder of Young Fred. Before you got into this business, Fred, uh, were you involved in something else? Were you employed before or what was happening? Well, it has been a long journey, like it didn't have been that long. And yes, I was employed actually two places. I used to sell newspaper and I've worked at a hotel. As a, that guy when you know, Yes. You know, in you know, while doing your newspaper business and the hotel business, what motivated you to get into design, you know, especially of footwear? I have a passion for fashion right from the beginning. And when I was in high school, I used to do I used to design costumes for my for my students, for my fellow students who are doing uh, music festivals. That's where the passion like started coming out. And after I did my own I came to Nairobi in search of green pasture. And that's where I met my friends who are doing fashion designing. They had their own companies, so I just used to go uh, to pop into their, into their workshop and start training myself. And I didn't have the idea of designing shoes. I just wanted to, to make, just to be known as a fashion designer and to be loved by what I uh, like to be, uh, to be known by what I was doing, which I, I used to love what I was doing. Getting to start this business, how much did you get to invest and where did you get that capital from? Designing shoes only, I started in 2012. I remember I had only 500 shillings and 500 shillings I, I got it from savings from out of now the side hustle I used to do that selling newspaper at the highway and that's where like I did my first shoe. I was doing my first shoe and I used to sell it to my friends, people around me, referrals and on Facebook and now through Facebook now that's where like I, I got to make, I got to meet this guy Sam Gishoro, who is a smell of CEO and he was interested in what I was doing. So. It got me into my lab. I was incubated, and I got at least I got a capital to raise the company. And where do you source for your raw material? You know the the, the Ankara you use and the other sort of material you use. Where do you get to source it from? Most of the materials I buy them at Biashara Street. Others are from Nigeria. By I can get a friend of mine who are traveling to Nigeria, and then they buy them for me. They come with them. Others are recycled. If you can give me a shirt, then. You just tell me, hey, Freddy, you just want this shirt to transform it to, into a shoe. Whereby, like, it's well, because there's no need of w wasting that shirt and go like to be an uh, environmental hazard or something. So we just have to come and transform it into a, sh into a shoe. That's, even in second-hand clothes, you can just go buy them and then come and transform it into a shoe. In this business that you're doing, you must have created employment. How many people are you going to employ? So far, I started at a one-man show, at a one-man show, because I used to do everything myself and due to demand in the market because the demand was rising so there was a need for me like to make sure that other responsibility I share them with other people. So far so good we are five of us. I have a tailor, a code doing now, now the guy who's doing last thing. I have an admin and two delivery guys. What range of products do you get to make here at your company? The shoes I make slip ones like like this one is a slip one with a Kenyan flag and um, boyfriends Uncle boots, wage and heels, especially for wages. I, I run this a campaign. I, I, I run a campaign called we, we call it don't don't throw them yet. We can we can help. Don't throw them yet. We can help. It's it's by like if a wage has one is is worn out. Like instead of throwing it away, you just have to bring it to us and then we will publish it. Like give it a new life. We call it. We have yeah as I mentioned heels, wage, boots, slip on Oxford. In short, all type of shoes, doing them from scratch. And who do you get to target, you know, in these shoes that you're making? I target an age group between the age of 16 to 35 years old. Most likely who are willing to learn, because this is a new, a new product in the market. It hasn't lasted for, for the last three years. We are still in, the, in our second year. It's a new product, so who are willing to learn and willing as well to keep the fashion trend in the market. mention of these products are very new in the market. How do people get to receive them? When we started, it wasn't that easy for us because it had, it had an issue of trust and that confidence like to make sure that our customer is confident in our product. And it was for us to make sure that our, our quality in our shoes is the best, first of all. 
we have to make sure before our shoes go our shoes get out of our of our shop the quality is our number one a priority second is to make sure we do a follow-up to our customer if in case of anything for the last for the first three months in case of anything like it has happened to the shoe like it's guaranteed it will just have to come to our shop again and we work on it again so we build that trust and confidence you know, with, with our customer in terms of giving them a, a warrant sort of Fred, tell me what challenges are you facing when doing this kind of business? One of the major challenges is on price. Because most of the people like see us as a very local company and they expect us to sell our product at very low, very low price, which is not possible because we incur a cost in producing a shoe and the kind of price that we sell them at is just a very little margin. The, the, the profit mark is very little, so there's no way we can just do a pair and then sell them uh, to a customer with no making profit. So that's our major challenge. Second is, you know, so many people come with their own different tastes. There's someone who has seen like a, a fabric, someone in tele, someone in magazine, and he comes to us, he or she, and he's very specific to want this kind of fabric. So it's up to us to take the challenge, because we can't say like, okay, we don't have. It's up to us to take the challenge to make sure that we go to every shop in town, make sure that we order every dealer we have that we know they sell fabrics and make sure that our customer gets the best. But that's, that's as well is a, is a challenge. And in wanting people to know what you do, how do you get to market yourself? Most of our orders come through social media platforms, like on Facebook, we are on Facebook at Young Freddy. Uh, Twitter, we have an e-commerce platform where we target all over the world now where people can buy the shoes and can track all the, can track the, the shipping, the, the shipping process. It's www.youngfriendly.com. It's an e-commerce where you can place your order, you can pay, and you can track the shipping process to your destiny. The shoes, uh, they are in current at Siafu. We're still trying to, to, to partner with other shop retailers in Nairobi and all over part, all other part of the country. Uh, but mostly we sell them through Facebook, whereby you can just place your order through Facebook. You can just you can just tell us like we want a shoe, and then we send we send pictures of what we have through WhatsApp, and then you confirm. You pay at a, you pay us a deposit of fifty percent. We do shoes and then deliver them. Now when we de we deliver them, that, that's why like, we now pay the rest of the money. But so far so good. Facebooks, Facebook accounts, Facebook page at Young Freddy. Like all the social media platforms work very well for us. And what are your future plans? Fashion industry, it's a very large industry. And there are so many people around who are doing what we are doing. So it's for us to distinguish ourselves from the rest and make sure that apart from just doing what we are doing for passion, out of passion, and just to be seen around, hey, those people are doing what they're, like, they're doing good and out of their hobby, we don't want to take this as a hobby. That's why like, we came up with a, as a company, as a brand, Young Freddy. And we are planning to open our stores as well in Nairobi. And slowly by slowly, one step at a time, build a global, glo a global brand. I advise people watching you right now, and they probably think they have that new idea that can come into the market. What would you tell them since you've already set your foot into entrepreneurship? There are so many things that we should do, especially if you would there's no need of always trying to complain to the government whereby like, oh, there's no job, there's this, this has happened. Apart from complaining, why just, why just like take that initiative and trying to solve? Because government cannot be anywhere and everywhere. Something that you go for, you, like you love doing. And apart from just doing it for a hobby, get some payments, get to pay your bills and you're good to go. You'll be surprised how people love what like we do like what to do out of passion there's someone who just come not because like he likes what to do it but he has seen something in you and that's why and that, that's that's that, that's where it starts from we've come to the end of our show tonight and i'm hoping that you enjoyed the guest that we brought for you you can rise from anything you can rise from very low and get to grow into a big big enterprise just like our last guest freddy i believe this is incredible, incredible talent. Well, get in touch with us on our social media pages that are on your screen right now. Facebook is KTN The Entrepreneur. Our Twitter handle is at KTN Entrepreneur. 
follow us also on Instagram at KTN Entrepreneur. Our email address is entrepreneur at standardmedia.co.ke. Until next week, same time Thursday, 8.30 p.m. to be KTN. It is good night and God bless you from the team and I. Thank you.